Hello and welcome to a quick introduction to the IEEE 802.11ax wireless LAN standard. 802.11ax, also known as High Efficiency Wireless LAN, is all about improving network efficiency and end user experience, especially for dense deployment scenarios in both indoor and outdoor environments. Because it's not focused on peak data rate, 802.11ax will operate in both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency bands. Multi-user communications, such as OFDMA and multi-user MIMO, are key technology enablers for high efficiency and capacity, though used by other wireless technologies, such as LTE and upcoming 5G. 802.11ax is the first wireless LAN standard to introduce OFDMA into the wireless LAN networks. OFDMA brings high spectral efficiency, as we will see in the next couple of slides. For multi-user MIMO, 802.11ax extends the maximum number of downlink users to 8 and adds support for 8-user uplink multi-user MIMO, resulting in 8-fold increase in uplink capacity and 2-fold increase in downlink capacity. And other enablers, such as long symbol time, will improve the robustness of outdoor deployment. And even though efficiency is the main goal, new features such as 1024 QAM will deliver improved throughput. Let's quickly look at each one of these enablers in a bit more detail. OFDMA is a multi-user version of OFDM in that it allows multiple users to share the available bandwidth and transmit simultaneously. In OFDM, a single user gets the full bandwidth at any given time, regardless of the packet size. Multiple users are separated in time domain only. OFDMA, on the other hand, distributes the available bandwidth to multiple users at the same time so that multiple users can be scheduled to transmit or receive data simultaneously. This means each user is allocated a portion of the available channel bandwidth, which 802.11ax calls resource unit. Here is an example of a resource unit allocation for a 40 megahertz 802.11ax channel. There are 512 available tones in a 40 megahertz channel. For high bandwidth applications such as video, the access point can decide to allocate the entire channel to a single user. This would be same as current Wi-Fi and does not fit the definition of OFDMA. Or the access point may serve two users simultaneously, each occupying 242 tone resource unit. For small packets such as IM or voice over Wi-Fi, it can also divide up the resources to all the way down to 26 tone resource units and in theory serve 18 users simultaneously. So as you can see, OFDMA enables efficient use of available spectrum, especially for low bandwidth applications. So how does multi-user transmission work? In the downlink, the access point uses the high-efficiency multi-user PPDU format to transmit packets to multiple stations simultaneously. The high-efficiency SIGB field, which is only transmitted in this multi-user PPDU, carries resource unit assignment and user-specific information to the multiple stations, allowing the stations to look up the corresponding resources in the data portion of the frame. Here is an example from 89600 VSA software showing downlink OFDMA allocations with multiple resource units and various metrics decoded from the SIGB field. The uplink transmission is very different in that it is schedule-based transmission and the access points is in full control of the scheduling. This is done to maximize uplink transmission efficiency. First, the access point transmits a control frame called the trigger frame, which contains scheduling information, including the resource unit allocation to be used by each station. In a response to the trigger frame, multiple stations transmit simultaneously to the access point using the high efficiency trigger based frame format. To prevent interference, the packet transmission from each of the stations must start and end at the same time, and they must remain synchronized in time, frequency, as well as power. Once the access point receives the packets from all stations, it sends back an acknowledgement frame to finish the operation. Let's now move on to the improved outdoor operation. 
a rotary at 11 AX maintains the same channel bandwidth as AC. However, it increases the FFT size by a factor of four. So this means there are four times more subcarriers in a given bandwidth, resulting in a four times narrower subcarrier spacing. We get frequency domain efficiency and capacity as it provides four times more tones to allocate to multiple users. However, it comes at a price since the narrow subcarrier spacing is more sensitive to frequency offset, phase noise, as well as sampling clock offsets. In the time domain, this translates to four times longer OFDM symbol. In addition, Aero211AX modifies the guard interval options to cover both indoor and outdoor operation. For indoors, the long OFDM symbol with the 0.8 microsecond guard interval gets us time domain efficiency due to the reduced guard interval overhead. And for the outdoor, the long OFDM symbol combined with the 3.2 microsecond guard interval addresses the longer delay spread in outdoor environment, allowing a more robust outdoor operation. The outdoor operation is handled by using a new extended range single user packet type. Lastly, 1024 QAM modulation is added for high throughput applications. This increases the physical layer data rate by 25% compared to 256 QAM used in AC. But due to the denser constellation, a 3 dB stricter EVM is applied. So we're looking at minus 35 dB of EVM versus minus 32 dB for 256 QAM. In summary, despite the fact that 802.11ax will be backwards compatible with legacy formats, there are significant changes highlighted in the green text. With these new and improved features come challenges. Keysight addresses the design and test challenges head on with industry leading 802.11ax simulation, signal generation, and signal analysis tools used across the product life cycle. The tight integration of our software across various hardware platforms give you the measurement integrity that ensures accurate and consistent results from R&D through production. To learn more about 802.11ax and Keysight Solutions, visit us at this website.